Hi everybody. Well, I got a soccer ball here that I picked up on Amazon and when they ship it to you, uh, it comes flat, uh, deflated and smushed uh, in a little plastic bag, uh, I guess, so that uh, they can fit more in a box when they ship them here, uh, most likely from China. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to open it up and we're going to be inflating it with a shop airline and an air nozzle, just like you'd use for a car tire, and a special air adapter uh, that's used for uh, soccer balls and basketballs and footballs uh, and the like. So basically, you just have to look around the side of the ball until you find the little air inflator, which is usually a small rubber uh, diaphragm. And these balls actually have a specified rating for inflation. So if we just look around, uh, this is a size three soccer ball. And so right around the nozzle, right there, it says 7.3 to 10.2 PSI. So you might be wondering why that's important. Um, we all know about football gate, so that's why it's important. Um, but you also don't want to overpressurize the ball. Uh, if it's too hard, uh, it could hurt the kid's feet when they're playing um, and also not react properly if it's deflated. Uh, when you go to kick the ball, it's not going to do what you want it to. So you have to use uh, what's called a low pressure tire pressure gauge. Uh, these are usually used for motorsports, uh, like for quads that you only fill the tires maybe to 8 or 10 PSI. So this one here only goes up to 20 PSI, which is different than the kind you would use for automotive or bicycle tires where this one goes up to 50 PSI. And then there's even other ones that go even higher, like for truck tires, that go to 120 PSI. So you can get these at Walmart or any of the other box stores for, you know, eight bucks, something like that. Tire inflators, uh, or two, rather the uh, sport ball inflators, uh, these, you know, two for a dollar, something like that. So anyway, let's get to it. Basically, I'm just going to take the inflator and insert it into the ball. And when it goes in, you can see it travels quite a bit before it hits bottom. And then you just push it through. And now that's inserted in the ball properly. So let's take my inflator. I'm going to check the pressure. I got about 4 psi, so I add a little bit more. Now I'm up at ooh, just about 9, so that's good. Okay, and there we go. The only thing left to do now is Take off the sticker. And got a little bit of residue on there. Just use the sticker to take the glue off. There we go. Pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.